Welcome to Learning Bytes. We're exploring seven challenges inside of customer service. And this week we're looking at inconsistent experiences. You can often see this challenge coming up or this problem coming up where a customer will come in and they won't be getting the same experience. This is very damaging to brand loyalty because people don't go, oh, it go there, it's always amazing. And they come and going, oh, I wonder who I'm going to get today. I wonder which side of the bed they got up on. So that inconsistency means that people are not as willing to refer you because you're not as certain around what you're going to get. This can also then be reflected in how your team members interact with each other. If people are not bringing their very best to work every single day, you kind of get the experience where you're people looking up going, oh, I wonder which version of them is coming to work today. Is it the grumpy version of them? You sort of look out the window and going, oh, crumbs, which version's walking in? Okay, and so we want to make sure that when people come to work, that they're bringing the best version of themselves. If every team member comes to work bringing the best version, then what that's going to do is make sure that the team environment is the best it can possibly be. So here are some recommendations for you. Let your team know what you want the brand experience to be. Share with them how you want the customer to experience their interaction with the brand. Set a standard around how you want team members to be bringing their best to work. What does that actually look like? Give training sessions around the brand image that you have spent thousands of dollars investing in and creating. If you've got a brand playbook or a brand guidelines within, share that with team members, particularly the team members on the front line. Because what that does is it then gives them a standard to aim for. Some questions for you. Have you got brand guidelines? Are you actually clear on what brand experience you want your customers to have? Have you shared that knowledge and that story and that experience with the people on the front line who are meant to be that very first point of contact, the starting point for that engagement and that experience? Have you trained your team around how to engage with people, how to build rapport, how to ask great questions, how to have great listening skills? Some action points for you. Share the brand story with your team. Train your team on how to deliver the brand experience you want your customers to have. Share reviews and referrals that you get with the people on the front line so they understand what sort of things customers look forward to, what sort of things customers appreciate about you so that they can repeat those things, analyze success and repeat it. And occasionally do a little audit, call in mysteriously and just see what experience your frontline people are giving to your customers. As you do this more and more, people will know what the standard is, know what's expected of them to aim for that standard and what experience they're meant to be giving. Here's to your success. Thanks so much for watching. If any of this resonated and you'd like to reach out, feel free to give me a call on 0272-987-523 or email me at mike at thinkright.co.nz or if you'd like some additional resources, go to our website, www.thinkright.co.nz.